Hello and welcome back to our PPLP course. We are continuing in the HTML section. And in this lecture, we are going to look at HTML quotation and citation elements. So let's get started. HTML quotation and citation element. We have one useful element of HTML called the Q element or the quotation element. This is short of quotation. We use it when you're quoting a certain information from another source. The HTML Q element defines a short quotation or it is the short word of the word quotation you'll see how you implement it to quote from an external source for example we can quote this quote which is inside this paragraph by just putting the name of the author then you put the quote and we close it in this way we shall see it when we go to the real world of coding for example another one we have html block quote for quotation the html block quote element defines a section that is quoted from another source for example if you have a long passage or a long paragraph that you've got from another source you can quote it using html block quote whereby the queue is just for a single line but if there are more than two one line maybe three lines or four lines that you've got from external source you use the block quote to quote those lines and this is how we quote them we write the word block quote then within that we put an attribute of site then you put the url where we've quoted this website i mean where we've quoted this content from and write the content and then you close the block quote don't worry we are going to practice this and understand how it works then we have the abbreviation the abbreviation is used to to explain something that is abbreviated for example if you want to abbreviate the word who and explain what it means using the abbreviation code we just write this name of this abbreviation tag then we give it a title and we put it around the abbreviation that we need to explain what it means then lastly we know we have the HTML address this one is used to define a certain content or a certain address of a certain person or a certain location and this address element is usually displayed in italic in different browsers but some different browsers also display them in a different way so let us switch to the to our text editor and practice these HTML citation elements and see how they work in your world. So I'll switch to my sublime text and create a new file. I hope everyone can do this at this level. I'll save. I'll save this as nine. The reason why I'm giving them numbers is because when I'll share these slides and lectures with you, you can simply trace what is the source code that I was doing at a particular time and you can fall over. Remember the link of all this source code and the slides that you're using in these lectures, you can get them in the description. You can download all these slides and the source code in the description link given in the given attached to this video. So let's proceed. This one will save it as nine underscore citation. Citation. Okay. Dot HTML on this code you can download it on that link so we proceed I'll just close this first then I told you that you can just type HTML to type the structure then I'll put here maybe citation okay so I'll begin now okay let us begin with the paragraph paragraph I have one guy called Confucius Confucius I like this code Con Confucius. I don't know the spelling. Okay, Confucius. Then he said, "What he said is what you put in a quote or in a, in a, in, a, in a quote." So you write Q and press the tab key. Here you can put the URL where you got this quote from. 
maybe HTTPS then colon then maybe facebook.com stroke Confucius here you are specifying where you got this code from then after between this queue and this queue this remember this is just an attribute it's where you put the code for example you can say beta beta light one candle than than what <laughs> than casting the duck than casting the duck okay that's a quote so just open the browser and see how it looks like I'll say open the browser so you can see that is how a quote looks like it does not just like a paragraph but it will be in the form of a quote there's no big difference but if I zoom you can see this quote is a bit in a different font compared to the normal paragraph so that's how we write a quote in HTML so we proceed we're going to practice the block quote what if you have many words or many sentences that you've quoted from a certain source and you need to cite and give a credit to this the one who wrote this block of code here use the block of code this one was to one line but if there are many line you use the word block quote element quote okay press tab key then here you put where you got the information from for example I got them from facts.com then here I put the paragraphs of different information that I got from this website for example I can say a man who sleeps beyond then hours then I can still make another paragraph between blue be this this code I say maybe blah 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 maybe just anything but as long as it's more than one line then you lose a block code but if it's just one line you just need to use a single code Q but it's more than one line then you use this block code and put here the site where you got it from and then you put the block code to close this block code that you opened so I'll come and refresh you can see how it looks like there's no big difference but the browser will know that you quoted these things from somewhere else but there's no such big difference so that's it between the citation and I mean citation of a single line and multiple line in appearance you'll not see anything but if in the browser if we check the source code we can know that you cited these things somewhere else press control u to say to check the source code maybe you might have got confused so we proceed with our last example not but not the list which is abbreviation to make the abbreviation you just write a b r okay now for example I want to explain what is meant by a certain abbreviation so I'll say maybe I'm writing a paragraph and say IUT is a nice university 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 but someone else does not know the meaning of IUT so this is an abbreviation I have to tell what it means so I'll cut it and maybe write I and write a B B R that's the one that represents abbreviation okay like this okay so between these 
a b r r so i'll put my abbreviation and i give it an attribute of title then i'll explain this that iut stands for islamic university university of technology okay so if i come to my browser i refresh you can see IUT will be having some dots showing that it's an abbreviation. If I put my mouse on top of it, it will give me a tooltip that say that this abbreviation means Islamic Universe of Technology. So that's how we abbreviate different things in HTML. We use ABRR to abbreviate a certain thing. Then lastly, we talked about address. Address, we just read the word address. And then here you can write the address, maybe two one one eight. Then I can put here maybe the city, maybe the car. The car. Then I can put Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Okay. Maybe I can put them in paragraphs. No problem. Okay here p here up it here another p okay so this just we put it to to tell that this is an address of a certain location I'll come and refresh you can see address they kind of italics they say that in different browser they even put some line but here we don't see any line so this is the address, this is the abbreviation, this is the block of code, this is the line of code. So I hope now you get the meaning of these citation elements that we use in, L in, in, in HTML. And that makes the end of our today's lecture. Let's meet in the next lecture where we're going to look at the HTML styles, CSS. I hope you'll not miss. See you and thank you for watching.